Hey, what's good guys? This is Chris from WearTesters.com. Welcome back to the official WearTesters.com YouTube channel. Today we're taking a detailed look and review at these bad boys right here. This is the Under Armour Phantom SE. Now before we get started, I did want to give a quick shameless plug to our Discord community. What exactly is our Discord community? It is a wonderful place full of like-minded people that are just like us, just a bunch of sneaker nerds wanting to talk about kicks or other stuff. Like we, how many sub things? I mean, there must be at least 10 different channels. At minimum. least. Minimum. That ranges between sports to sneakers to nerd stuff. Awesome. And being a part of our Wear Testers Discord community is not just a special thing just because you're part of the little club or whatever, but it's also special because those people actually help keep this channel going. We did not want to set up a Patreon. We didn't want to mess with those things, but this felt like the easiest and simplest way for us to give back to you while you also help us in return. So if you wanted to know what it means to be a Wear Testers Discord community member, click the link in the description box below. It'll head you over to wearTesters.com where you can read all about it. And hopefully you guys will join us there later. So with that being said, Let's go ahead and take a look at these guys. Now the Under Armour Phantom was a model that released last year and it was actually a really cool shoe that did not look like a running shoe, but it was. That thing looks super lifestyle. Remember? That was the all red pair, yeah? Yeah, I had a couple of them. I really liked that shoe, but there was only one colorway of them that I really loved and it was the original like launch colorway. It was black, marble outsole or midsole, super dope. And instead I ended up getting like- Oh, you got olive green, right? I got the olive joints and then I also got these all red joints. So I gave them all away already, but I really did did like the shoe I just didn't like the colorway same thing goes here actually I really love the way that this shoe looks but colorways to me really can make or break a shoe and out of all the colorways that I've seen of this sneaker so far this is the only one where I'm like I need those so I think the colorways are very important I think it's very interesting that other brands do like there's no shot to Under Armour but other brands do really tend to knock it out of the park with colorways Under Armour seems to be always like a hit or miss but I feel like when you have a colorway like this like this just looks awesome my toe down view of these is beautiful I'm a big toe down view guy because it's what I see every day like when I'm wearing my shoes if I look down I'm like yo those are dope that's the kind of feeling that these give me like this toe down is super sexy man I just love it but what ended up happening is that that was kind of a like a long distance style runner so heavy cushion heavy outsole all that stuff kind of the opposite of what we see nowadays especially when we're talking about the fuel cell propel from New Balance uh, something like the Joyride the Ultra Boost 19s and so on and so forth so this shoe right here or I should say the last shoe was just kind of a big departure from those models right there because it was thick it was chunky everything that you would not expect a modern day runner to be unless you're hoka those guys are crazy now these guys actually feel i don't know if anything is different but they feel in hand way lighter than the original model i don't know if that's the top i don't know if that's something modified on the bottom but whatever it is they feel really light in hand which is great the outsole on these by the way these are filthy right now i did all the b-roll and all that stuff in the on foot when they were brand new i didn't realize that i was gonna like take them with me to a vacation trip to tahoe and then like like really like beat the shit out of them like they are gross right now so i'm gonna have to wash my hands after this because it's like freaking me out but the outsole on these guys is just like the original model and it performed very well from like my casual perspective how many miles did we get in these 16 over two days is that good 16 miles for you walking around just in general like is that like a good thing like is that like a lot of miles or no i think you're supposed to aim to walk at least five miles per day and we exceeded that yeah and it was with hills inclines rocks weird pavement we went off terrain or what do they call that is that what they call it off-roading off-roading if you will because there are trail shoes and these guys right here I will say I was actually impressed there's some of the little nubs that are like wearing down already and that's only after two days but with again 16 miles put on them but overall this thick outsole was made to last and it did really well on every surface that we were on including wet surfaces because we were by a lake now the cushioning is exactly the same as the last one again everything feels very much like lighter in hand so I don't know if anything was tweaked or modified but the cushion source right here is Under Armour's Hover. It's supposed to be full length and it's actually housed within this EVA carrier. That's where I think the weight difference is really at. I, I'm assuming that the EVA was kind of like a lighter version of what they used last time. However, the EVA carrier feels really good. It's got a lot of like squish to it on its own while still maintaining a lot of stability. And then inside you can actually see it poking through. That's all the orange pieces, but that's the Hover. And that stuff is just awesome. It feels so good underfoot all day long. We were on our feet literally all day long. I just really Really liked the way that these things felt. You felt stable. You didn't feel too mushy. You didn't feel too springy. It wasn't too firm. It was just like a really nice balance for all day long comfort. Because sometimes my feet like get like tired of whatever it is that I'm wearing, and that was not happening with these, which was awesome. Also, underneath here, you can see a little like cord out section. That's for additional compression of the hover because the hover is contained primarily, and it just made everything feel.
feel like good. Like it feels like a nice fresh breeze on the Lake Tahoe shore. <laughs> These guys are also compatible with Under Armour's Map My Run app. So if you like like to track your miles, that's actually something that I should have done. We have my watch. Yeah, her like Apple Watch thing like does it, but I do have the app. I don't know why I never synced it, but you know, whatever. It just wasn't like something that's on my mind. But it does have that capability. So if you're a runner or a walker or anything like that, you can sync these guys up to your app and you can count your steps, your runs, all that stuff. Now the upper on these guys reminds me of the original model, but I think that the modifications that they made on these guys are like way nicer. First thing is, is that the toe box area, it's got that light airy mesh and it feels really nice. It really wraps around your foot. I love it. And then you got that sturdier kind of like micro molded mesh at the midfoot panel. And that's again, the sturdier stuff. So that's for some support, very similar to the original model. The thing that I love is the collar. This guy right here doesn't have that weird compression kind of like collar that I absolutely hate. It really accentuates my cankles. I don't like it. I love this one though. It just sits right underneath my ankle bone. It looks great. It feels great. It's awesome. And then in the back right there, you got the external heel counter i think that this is like the thing this is the part where they, they really give you that blast or pop of color they even put this gradient thing on there but this is the thing where i'm like why don't they do because they don't do this on every colorway this colorway is really like bitching bitching the other colorways are so like bleh. so i don't know why they haven't done anything like awesome like this on all of the shoes but this one right here man this is where it's at now you do have some reflective hits on the upper one of them is the logo right there not only is it reflective but it's also this weird like kind of like uh chameleon like color and all that stuff what do they call that when it's on cars it's not like a pearl coat or something oh yeah it is a pearl coat thanks you're welcome. And then this little logo right there is also reflective. It's not super reflective, but it is reflective. Inside the shoe, there is no removable insole. Instead, we have their Speedform technology. This is what they're calling Speedform 2.0. They had this in the last model. I absolutely love it. I know that there are a lot of people that prefer to be able to replace the insoles, which is fully understandable. It sucks that that's not a capability on this shoe, but for people that don't do that, this type of like setup is just mad comfortable, man. There's like sections of additional cushion on top of the cushion that they've already got. It's just layers and layers of comfort. It's awesome. Now, as far as sizing is concerned, they run short. My feet needed to break these in because after the first day, my toenails felt like they were going to fall off because my toe was just jammed on there. Although we were going up and down big hills and stuff. So that could have been the cause of it. What I would recommend is if possible, try these on in store. The downside though, I couldn't find these in store i've been looking for these things in store for how long now like over a month that colorway been, yes okay i was gonna say they've been out since almost the beginning of the year really it's been that long yeah man where the hell are these man like the champs at our local mall is usually the spot like the Foot Locker is nike jordan primarily maybe converse but they're owned by nike jordan Foot Locker, count them out for anything that you might want to go outside the box with shoe palace they've got random things but not this kind of random but champs is usually the spot man like you go there and they have a little bit of everything and our champs just never got these and i kept checking and checking and checking and nothing so i eventually caved and bought them online so i'm letting you guys know they are a little snug so if you like some wiggle room especially runners because you like to go up half a size you mm -hmm. say that that's a norm yes. the norm for runners so definitely go up half a size from your regular true to size or casual size your toes will thank you later and that pretty much takes care of it for the under armor phantom se i absolutely love these things casually if you've run in a pair please let me know what you guys think about them down below in the comment section i'd love to know your guys' thoughts from a performance perspective retail price on them is 140 thank you so much also if you are checking out our wear testers discord community remind link is in the description box below if you wanted to check that out and see how you can help us out and that pretty much takes care of it thank you so much and until next time guys have a good one visually real quick though what do you think about these you never tried out the original one no i didn't okay i think actually you would like these those were the ones when you went over all of them in this video the yeah. infinite those were the ones that i wanted to try out Gotcha. Actually, I was unimpressed by all of them visually during that presentation when they unveiled this shoe because it wasn't until a little bit later that this shoe in this color was shown. Yeah. And that, again, when I saw this colorway, like I was like, man, like those are mad pretty, dude. Like they just look sick. I just liked all of the tech spec breakdowns for that shoe. Out of all of them, I was like, that's something that I would like. Well, so like this shoe right here, can I hold it in here? Of course you can. Yeah, mine's a little bit heavier, but I think it's just because they're men's. They're bigger. Yeah, but they're not that drastic of a difference. Mm -hmm. But this shoe right here, they both have very similar tech specs. This is the uh, Hover Infinite, so full-length hover. This one has it 
a lot more exposed. So you can see it's full length through all of the little channels. It's also, I wouldn't say top loaded because it's inside the frame or the carrier, but it's more exposed. So it give, gives you a little bit more expansion of the foam. But for whatever reason for me, these felt more close to the ground, especially in the forefoot. So that was my question. These have a weird drop. It's in like them. a super sharp drop. And so I wanted to know if they did that in that as well. This feels super neutral compared to that. There is a drop, but it feels very gradual. This one, like you can definitely feel at the arch where it just goes, boop, gives you a propelling feeling. This again, feels more like you're gonna go on a long ass run. You yeah. need kind of like a shoe that's just gonna be able to maintain itself. This feels like a more speedy shoe. If um, you want a full performance review on this though, you can go right there. Oh, we have one available? We do. Okay. Uh, she does the reviews along with Brian and Drew for running stuff. So I try not to do that because my legs can't. His legs can't handle My that. legs can't handle the extra mileage, especially after the calf tear. Mm -hmm. Like they can hardly handle basketball. Lots of ice and rest days in between play days and it sucks. Hopefully that changes soon, but I don't know. Because <laughs> the calf tear happened when? Like earlier in the year? Yeah. Yeah, and it still like flares up or whatever. So I don't know what the hell's going on. Maybe that's normal. I'm not sure. I actually don't know anybody personally that's done this. You can't call up KD and be like, hey. Um, yeah, me and KD aren't besties. So I mean like, you know, I just don't know. <laughs> so, these are really cool actually. I really dig these. No, I like them too. I've liked them since the beginning though. So have I. Well, for different reasons. Yeah. So, yeah. Are you wearing lipstick? I'm wearing the same stuff I wear every single time we sit down. Okay, it gets on your thing. So is it lipstick or is it, is it not? It's lipstick. Really? Mm-hmm. <laughs> You're so annoying. Me? Why? <laughs>